using the snuffle mat to build focus around distractions. Our goats and llama are very distracting to bandit. Prerequisite behaviors. Handler and dog understand marker training, eye contact, positive interrupter, give in to leash pressure, and prior exposure to the snuffle mat. Starting at a distance. In the beginning, I would like Bandit to be able to look at the llama and goats calmly and then focus on me. When he is able to do this, I let him retreat back to the mat. If Bandit were to pull on leash or not be able to focus on me at all, then I would start further away. I think it is a bonus if your dog has a default settle. Bandit offers a default settle. Moving closer to the distractions with the snuffle mat a little further to allow Bandit to retreat to the mat.
Bandit is still distracted by the llama. He looks at me and then looks at the llama. I need to be more clear and mark when he looks at me. Since I would like more focus around the llama, I need to increase the duration at which he looks at me. I will work on this more at a distance in my next training session. I am keeping Bandit on a leash to ensure he is successful and is not able to decide that he really wants to chase the llama. After a few sessions, I will put him on a long line and eventually work with him off leash. Yes, a boy. Yes, a good boy. It was great that he was able to settle this close to the llama. Bandit is able to snuffle for treats as he is close to our llama. She doesn't like the smell of your cookies, you know? Oh, boy. 